A family in Palolo got a rude surprise this past weekend when a boulder came crashing through the second floor of their home. Crazy video there. The five foot by five foot wide boulder rolled down a hillside and came crashing through a center block wall, as you see there, as well as a vehicle parked outside. The boulder just missed hitting the owner of the home before landing in a bedroom. She told KITV4's Otli Iduklo she believes the incident could have been prevented and is now calling on city leaders to do something about it. Caroline Sasaki says she was walking into her living room late Saturday night when she saw this boulder crash into her home and roll right past her. A security camera captured the startling moment when the five foot by five foot rock collided into the second story of Sasaki's two bedroom home on Palolo Avenue. I haven't watched the video, um, but they said if I took one more step, I probably wouldn't be here. Sasaki says she and her family are still moving into the newly built hillside residence and have been there for about a week. She was planning to watch TV before bed just before midnight Saturday evening until the boulder caused her to change her plans. All I heard was the boom when the glass cracked from the sliding glass door. So then I backed up and um, I guess it passed right through me. She adds she has a bad leg and walks slowly, which may have actually helped and delayed her from being in the boulder's path. The Honolulu Fire Department reports the boulder appeared to have plowed through the home cinder block wall, struck the family's car, rammed through a glass door across the living room and into another wall before landing in the bedroom. Sasaki suspects the boulder came from excavation work happening above her home, closer to the mountain, and says she has been urging city leaders to stop the development. I was in fear of this happening from before, from when they started. Sasaki says she'll keep trying to have the work stopped, but for now, she's grateful to still be alive. I just would like to thank all my family and friends for helping. Thank you. HFD says another area resident reported a smaller, roughly two foot by two foot boulder hit his retaining wall, but did not go onto his property. Ali Iduklo, KITV4 Island News. Just about an hour ago, the director of the Department of Planning and Permitting, Donna Puna, issued a statement on the incident saying, after viewing the horrific video, I reached out to Mrs. Sasaki today out of concern for her and to answer any questions she may have had. We assured her that we will investigate and report back to her as soon as possible.